items with script. Now just to get started I'm just going to be uh, presenting the golem rod that I created in just a, around 10 minutes. Um, and so just to display it I'm just going to summon this. And so upon hit it's going to fling this up into the air just like how an iron golem prepares its attacks. So as you can see it flings up into the air and there's a damage indicator on the left. So I'm just going to kill this very quickly, and uh, yeah, let's get on to the video. So, in order to actually start creating your custom item, all you're going to need is to get a item or block of choice. Now, I'm just going to use a potato because I can simply just uh, rename it to something easy. So, for instance, you can either just use the normal potato, or you can rename it. So, I'm just going to do hot potato because, well, simple name. And so, then you have to actually start creating. So, I'm just going to use uh, Minehut, free server hosting. Um, and all you have to do is go to File Manager, Plugins, Script, and then Scripts. And as you can see, I have all these, but all you have to do is create a new file. And I'm just going to title it Hot Potato. You can title it whatever you want. And then .sk. So, once it's created, just go into the file. And, uh, yeah, you can start programming. So, once you're inside of the editor, all you have to do to get started is make an event. So, for instance, I'm just going to do on right click, although you can also do on left click, or um, just click. So, on right click, so when the player right clicks, if the name of the player's held item is, for instance, hot potato, do stuff. Now, I'm just going to make it to where... Wherever you click, a potato gets dropped. So drop potato at and then event dash location. As always, you need to save your code. And then once you're back inside of the game, you just do SK reload scripts. And it says successfully reloaded all scripts. And now if you click on the ground, potatoes will fly up from it. And as you can see, it's wherever I click. And as usual, you can pick all this up and use it for later. And that was the tutorial on how to create custom items. As always, if you have other questions, please leave them down in the description. Or you can join my Discord, which will also be in the description. Um, and as usual, thank you for watching. Uh, if you could, please subscribe, leave a like. That'd be great. Uh, and yeah. See you in the next video or on my Discord channel. Thank you. Bye.